Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna attack Westfold with the Isengard army so Theorin can complain about all the time and say where was Gondor when Westfold fell because Westfold is gonna fall today. The villages of Rohan believe they are protected by the powerful horsemen of Rohan, but nothing can shelter them from the darkness that approaches. Oh yeah, you heard Saruman guys. Forward fighting Urukai! No rest to the last man for Oh yeah, and we have a different army now because I wanna also level up these units, Dunlanding Huskarls. We have actually more Dunlandings in this army than a uh, normal Urukai crossbowman combo. We have only two of them. Let's build some furnaces first of all. We also need to level up our heroes, Wolfgar and Sharko, of course. So let's go ahead. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to get mounted. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you know. Very, very intelligent to pick a, pick, a, pick a picture like that. From the Vikings. Okay. So we have two mounted heroes. That's nice. We have no money for the Lumbering Wheel, unfortunately. We need to wait a couple of seconds, but it's doable. We have also a money boost, so we get more money than we normally would get in a normal skirmish game. Let's scout the area. This is the map Westfold. I already know Westfold. There is a settlement here, and we have two settlements in the middle of the map. So grab those mills. What are our missions? Destroy all good forces. Destroy the eagles. Okay. Upgrade three crossbows with fire arrows. That's not possible, by the way. You can't upgrade them with fire arrows. So I believe this bonus is not doable. Commander Hort of Uruk warriors to use their bloodthirsty power on another okay I mean I won't do that either I know these paths well I know these lands okay you know these lands it's nice for you let's build the lumber mill here and let's keep moving on to the bottom left side of the map just why not Gift trolls are challenging here, so don't underestimate them. This is not BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King. What is happening? Oh my goodness, this guy doesn't want to stop chasing us, so we need to wait until he goes away and then build the mill because otherwise he's going to destroy the mill. Oh! What's Hey! Hey, hey, hey! He's killing all our stuff. Please kill him. Kill him fast. He killed like a full battalion almost, right? But he almost killed them, killed them all. Okay, we need to keep moving on. The enemy castle has to be at the bottom side here around this area, right? Another eagle. Holy quacamole. Let's bring him to our army. Look at the eagle damage to Sharku. What is this? Is this a real thing? Oh, he stops chasing us, okay. That's fine. War will soon consume us all. We need to build some more furnaces. Let's build a tower here. Let's leave them around this side because they are kind of useless in a situation like that, not gonna lie. The, the eagles are hitting like an absolute truck, by the way. War will soon consume but we will get so much money with this many lumber mills outside. That's gonna be crazy, guys. More towers, more towers, just in case the eagle might visit our castle, which would be a nightmare if you have no towers. More furnaces, and there needs to be another outpost at the bottom right side. We will be using this outpost, of course, to siege the Rohan base later on. Let's build some more furnaces, so we can use industry very soon on this tree, just like that. We can also use Palantir to see what's going on. That's the Rohan castle. We see one giant eagle. And we can also use the Devastation to get even more money. Look the money boost we get from one single use. Sharku is eating so much damage. He's one of the squishiest hero I, heroes, I believe, from Isengard. I mean, all the heroes, Ogluk Lords, uh, Sharku and Wolfka are feeling quite um, weak in terms of defense. But at least they are quite mobile. Okay, we need to defend against those Rohan Spearmen. You don't want to fight against Spearmen with your mounted heroes. That's going to be a really bad choice. Let's build the armory here. So we can buy all the upgrades. We need to build a Siege Works here. And uh, maybe Uruk Pit. And uh, also Dan Landing of Longhouse. Just why not? Okay, we were able to save it for now. Let's build some more workers. We will get so much money, guys. That's gonna be crazy. <laughs> okay, so 
We need to get siege weapons on the field. And for a change, we can do something else. Does he have leadership yet? No, he's gonna get leadership with level 3 though. That's pretty good. Let's make this combination and this combination too. Let's get ladders this time for a change. Sharku, you're gonna, you're gonna chill here. You are kinda useless, let's be honest. That's, that's not even a passive. That's not even a passive. That's like an active to make you and your allied war riders around you faster. Okay, so they are recovering a little bit over time. We can also use them to deal damage to the buildings. Wolfgar has to be careful. Let's kill this combat battalion, shall we? Crossbow. We need to get armory. All the upgrades. We need them all. Listen here. Dunland will triumph. Okay, we got one more unit here. You know what would be awesome? If you could combine the crossbow man also with the uh, Whiteman of Dunland, you know? This uh, this one. The X-Men. X-Men. <laughs> okay. The are command points kept. We can combine these. And we have two ladders that's more than enough to enter the base. We are gonna wait for the upgrades anyway. We lost the settlement, that's, but, but that's fine. We, had, we need firepower to kill this eagle. You have seen how devastating one eagle can become, you know? That's why it's so important. We can go like that. Let's lead the army first. We need to kill this eagle as soon as possible. Okay, he's gonna kill one ladder, but I'm fine. We have the second one for this kind of scenarios. Do so we have fire now? We also took a lot of damage on this unit. Let's give them all banners. Okay. Let's keep moving on. And the ladder, we're gonna place it right here. Oh, one of them is so badly damaged, so we need to send him back. Okay. Another eagle is coming in clutch for the opponent. Let's peel back with this army. Look how tanky he is, even with war chanted units. Oh, he killed our Wolfgar or our Viking. Oh my goodness. This eagle is MVP, by the way. That's crazy how effective he is. So we need to peel back. <laughs> we also lost the ladder. So we need to make ballistas or rams to kill those towers first. That's what we need to do, guys. Oh, why, why I was doing that? Not sure. So give them all the upgrades they need. We need ballistas. Or we might also need uh, this units. But in order to recruit them, you need to get your Uruk pit to level 3 first. So... And we are command points kept. You see what I what I mean? Sharku. If you can try to help out a little bit, would be awesome. Let's use the list. We have over 9,000. Over 9,000. Hey, hey, hey. Don't kill my Uruk pit, I'm telling you. Okay, they were recovering over time. That's good. Sharku is trampling them down. That's not bad. Let's kill the backline first, Sharku. This unit should be easy to handle for our hero. Okay, that's nice. Level 3. So we can get a bit faster. I want to see how this is looking like. It's looking not bad. We lost one furnace, but it's okay. Once those furnaces hitting level 3, they're gonna act like a tower. They are quite tanky. Okay. Did we actually kill the eagle? Does he have more eagles than that? Uh, I don't see any more eagles though. No. But there is an outpost, so destroying this castle is not gonna win us the game. We also need to destroy this outpost right after. We can use the industry once again. Nice. -o. They expanded the siege work. So let's start sieging slowly but surely. We can keep killing stuff here. What a big deal. Sharku can also trample them down all the Wait a second, so let's go like this. So it's gonna automatically follow this route. We are, we are winning this fight. Hold on a second. Please don't die. I'm not even close, baby. Not even close, baby. We peel back. This is the elite unit, you know? Would be nice if you can save them. Because once they get level 3 reckless swings, uh, inc uh, look, consecutive attacks uh, increase attack damage by 5. But reduce armor by 5. Okay, be careful. Sharko. Sharko is so weak. Okay. Let's peel back. Let's kill this first with fire. Should be possible to burst it down. 
I don't trust wizards. Ever have. We fire, it's easy to kill, you see? So let's kill this last remaining tower here. We, will, we lost actually a lot of units, holy moly. Let's do more combos or get more combos on the field in the meantime. We need to kill this as soon as possible. Oh, what's happening here? Sharku is still quite low. Okay, they are destroying our towers in no time. But it's fine. Yeah, level two. Hey, okay, okay, not fine. Be, be careful, be careful. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Follow us. Nice, he's following us into the towers. That's nice. Nice speed. Now we have four balistas. It's gonna be a different story. Okay, let's give them all the upgrades they need. If we save him, we have saved two of them. Or three of them. Okay, nice. They're gonna respawn over time slowly but surely. We can also use one, one more time Palantir. Oh, he has even another outpost. That's why he's sending units all the time. But it's okay. We will destroy them all. Let's destroy the main castle first. Then we can do the rest. You peel back. You peel back. You are damaged. You peel back. Combine. Give them also bleeds. Bleeds are good when you get trampled down, you know? Because trampling down, this that's gonna cause... This units are, a bit, I think, are a bit weaker. Because this uh, units, they can't have forge bleeds, you know? That's the problem. Let's break one more part of the wall. Let's peel back with the army. Use the vegetation whenever it's available, even though we don't really need the money, let's be real. I'm actually curious if he has even more, uh, say it, eagles around, because eagles were pain. Look, this, our towers are not hurting. So the defense of an evil faction's base is not gonna be that great anymore. When even up, when even unupgraded, oh, he killed all our ballistas? Are you kidding me? We need more ballistas. And also berserkers. Okay. So let's recover a little bit. Did you know that industry is also making sure that your units, uh, that your buildings are leveling up a bit faster? You're gonna hit level 3 faster this way. Sharku, you can handle them. Oh, I hit that. This is no Orkhorn, as <laughs> Legolas would like to say. Those are elves. I see peasants moving there. Oh my goodness. I actually, you know what I want to do? I want to just go inside and finish them off, you know? So I need to peel back with the units, which are damaged. You go there to the damaged ones and recover over time a little bit. And we are getting outranged every single time from the enemy units. Sharku has to be careful. Archers are luckily not dealing too much damage to our uh, buildings, but... They are being annoying. We need to break one more part of the wall at least. So we can use this on the ballistas to make them move a bit faster. You see? They are moving now 15% faster, which is actually significant. But the faster the units normally are, let's use Warchant to kill them a bit faster and not take too much damage because Warchant is not giving you only damage but also armor. Can we also give them torches? No, that's not possible to give them torches. So let's move on. You go from the bottom side. Please. There are still some units attacking us. I, I can't believe that. You go inside. I hope we're gonna be able to burst down this uh, Tita fast enough. Even though there are so many units around, I believe that's not gonna be possible. Or oh, we are getting trampled down on the ground. That's not gonna make our life easy. We need more ballistas, but we are command points kept. And we are losing also a lot of towers here. Because we are getting outranged. Sharko was able to recover a little bit. That's great. We can keep killing this stuff. Our berserkers couldn't do anything. But what they could do is to get our Uruk pit to level 3. That's a nice thing. Because this way... We can get the... Explosive mine berserkers. Please kill this... Oh my, this is so unbelievable. This Rohirrim are so tanky. Why? This Rohirrim are so good against our units, though. Because we have no pikemen. That's the problem what we got. Okay, Sharka was able to defend this area. That's good. Please get 
couple of these units on the field. We have so much money, we can spam them. Literally. We're gonna lose those ballistas, but it's okay. Did, did we not revive our Wolfgar? The answer is no, we didn't revive him yet. Let's kill this building. There are some units, but it's a level 3 now. It's able to defend itself. Has also 3000 HP. A level 3 furnace has 6500 HP, so it's really tanky. And also acting like a tower, you can see. There are... No, there are no units inside. Why? Because of whatever reason. But here you see units inside. Maybe when the building is damaged like that, the units are disappearing. That's what it is. Camp. Look at this. Also, they are outranging and so extremely hard. Holy guacamole. I'm actually if, uh, curious if the Vorten is also affecting these units, you know? We can we can, we can can see this. We can try it out. Okay, let's go inside the jeans now. Don't die. Use I to kill them a bit faster. Okay, let's go inside then, right after. I'm actually... I hope that three is gonna be enough. Three of them are gonna be enough to kill this sitter. Would be awesome if we could. Don't die, please. Please! What's oh my goodness. His Look, they can't do what they are supposed to do. They are getting trampled down all the time. Okay, finally. Didn't even kill too many units around, let's be honest. Okay. Can we kill these buildings, please? Instead of the units? Okay. Let's use industry also one more time here. You can also get mounted and join Sharku and kill these units. Without fire, it's so hard to kill stuff. That's unbelievable. Okay, keep sieging. We have no more war chance or I. That means our units are gonna be weaker now. But we can stay here and keep killing stuff and get those units to kill this in the meantime. You know? Okay. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. We are going, we are doing better. But don't stay close enough to this unit. That's the last thing what you want to do. Okay, that's great. We destroyed that. They are dealing a lot of damage. That's what I like to see. And we keep killing this. Oh, oh, don't, 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 kill, don't kill, don't kill. Oh my, we killed so much of our own units. What are they doing on the wall? I don't get it. Why are you on the wall, bro? Oh, we're gonna lose so much. 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 We need to replace them. <laughs> they were on the wall for whatever reason. That was painful. You peel back, please go back now. Go back. Or kill this uh, units first. I mean, uh, just su sacrifice, I guess. We will have to replace the entire army once again. Okay, let's split them a little bit. You guys move to this. You guys move to this. Okay. Can we peel back? I don't trust this. Never have. The fire is gonna make some difference. I don't know. Maybe we can save this. Would be awesome. Okay, not many buildings are remaining on the field anymore. Luckily. Maybe this units can finish. This they, this guy was not even respawning over time, you see? So let's keep him here. Okay. Ready with the crossbows. It takes ages, dude. That's unbelievable. It takes really ages to destroy one single building. A level 3 farm. A level 3 combat battalion. Needs like one hour to destroy that. That's so unfortunate. We have so much money, but opening this, you know... I believe if we could buy fire on these units, it would make the campaign much easier. And the fact that you can't is making it a bit more challenging. Maybe it's me because I'm trying to play this as I'm playing the normal one. But that's clearly not the normal one. 
which is war chant to make them stronger oh there are so many towers around and these units they don't feel really strong man actually i take it back they are dealing a lot of damage to buildings nice we okay they are weak against arrows though they are dying to the towers in no time let's save him Okay. okay, this is gone. That's great. That's great. Let's group them all together. Can we group them with anyone? Please? I believe. There we go. Nice. So let's get them all the upgrades they need. By this castle. Let's peel back and destroy this level 3 farm. We need to build towers here because we're gonna get attacked very soon. I would also like to make towers here because money is not a problem as you can see and tell. We have over 30,000 resources so we don't really need the furnaces but we're gonna build that anyway. Kill these units first. Nice. These units were able to respawn and also these units were able to respawn. So let's group them all together with the ballistas and let's keep moving on. Okay. And also you can join the party. No. Okay, so let's build this. You guys are gonna be the group number two. The group number one is gonna lead the fight to face tank because these units are like glass cannons. They are dealing a lot of damage to buildings, yes, but that's pretty much it. Okay. Who's looking for trouble? Okay, nice. So maybe we can capture this one in the middle again. And hopefully we're gonna get some more experience on our heroes, which is kind of difficult because they are so squishy. And they don't also deal too much damage, uh, which, you know, kind of makes it hard. But there is one more eagle as far as I can see. So let's kill these units. You guys kill the buildings in the meantime. And the ballistas are gonna focus the outpost. That's the plan, that's the goal. We also need to use fire. Look how tanky this Rohirrim are. Or they are buying some upgrades. Maybe that's why. Like so many buildings are shooting them down. But they are still able to destroy one of the tankiest resource buildings in the game. Unbelievable. Kill the, kill the units first. Yeah. Outpost is getting destroyed. Destroyed slowly but surely. That's great. Okay. We need to we need to deal with that. Heavy armor purchased. He's killing our towers left and right. Kill the eagle, please. Good. <laughs> oh! We lost them both, right? Okay, we, we got the bonus by killing the eagles. Our heroes, uh, I didn't pay attention for like 5 seconds and they are doomed instantly. You kill the buildings only. They are, these units are actually very nice. If you mix them in, you need to make sure to protect them though. They are very squishy, but they are dealing quite a lot of damage to buildings. That's impressive. I hear the Alvin Warriors once again. Destroy this farm. Cut this resource income. Let's buy this outpost. And yeah, we have only to destroy one more outpost. The farm has not been taken down. That's crazy. Okay. Let's move on. We have Eye of Sauron still in the worst case. Let's make triple tower here. Just why not. Okay. Let's use position of Palanti to see what's going on. Oh, okay. Actually, he's destroying our entire base. Our heroes are gonna be soon on the field, but I'm assuming they're gonna be killed the second they come. Let's buy some time by building stuff like that. Let's use fire. I see. Okay, with fire, we deal, we destroy. But without fire, when it's on cooldown, rip. Okay. Are we gonna able to destroy ourselves? 
Oh yeah! Oh my goodness, that's nice. These units, I'm in love with them. They are so good. War chance. There we go. And you can try to destroy my bees all you want, because once this farm is down, you are doomed, my friends. And we are victorious. You are able to defeat Westfold, the Rohan faction. And now Tyrion can cry about it all the time and say, where was Gondor and Westfold for, guys? Against the power of Sauron, there can be no victory. Against the power of Sauron, there can be no victory. We did it. We are victorious. And hopefully the next one is going to be... Um, you know, Helm's Deep, I'm really, I really want to play this with, uh, not Westfold, Helm's Deep, of course, uh, but that's not possible. I believe after Dune Arrow, it's going to be Westfold. Thank you guys so much for watching. I see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Stay beyond standards and keep hitting like a track. Peace out.